Ah, that's the first set done. Here we go. Paris Warloaf is 100%, and now let's throw in some second Velociraptor DNA just to finish up there. Um, let's see. Really happy about this full Paris Warloaf genome. And as you can see, I have this lab completely set up in here. Yeah, um, very nice. The torches are only in for here temporarily because, uh, well, I'm going to stick glowstone in there, and guess what? I don't know if you can see it, but there's a package in the back behind the, the, the acacia wood back there behind the fence. That is a package with a nether portal inside that I bought from Amber Tech. Uh, I've worked a lot on the fence, and there's a brand new building, which I'll show you in a moment. So we have both of these, and I'm really happy. Also, the goats today are being a real bracket. I'm going to have to go check on them. Oh my god! What? Alright, so it looks like somebody pranked me, and that's a strange sign. That means that I am not the only person on this island. Also, um... Oh my god. They're like having a rebellion in there. I'm gonna have to get rid of them off camera. At least we'll have some yummy fun for food. The chickens and goats, as always, are breeding a ton. And you'll also see the crop field is completely gone. All, of, all, the, all there are is a few dandelions. And of course, I moved all the lab equipment into the lab. So, um, right here, we have a greenhouse. Yeah, I built this off camera. It's, um, all made of reinforced glass, which I finally figured out how to make. Yes. Um, so yeah, Goat Rebellion is gonna have to end. Um, uh, don't have that much stuff, but uh, I'll put like the seeds on the ground in a couple of these places here. Some seeds. Um, and I'll probably do like another greenhouse over here because we have the space. And that, that'll be a nice, like, worker village here. I also replaced all the doors with, um, these, oh! Yeah, so um, anyway, so I'm gonna, like, rest inside of here for the day, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, first things first, we should put the storage place. I also have 100% an Alkelia plant. I don't remember what it is. And I really hope to get this. And the Angicula Smithy, as I like to call it, with that funny voice. I also like to get that lightning. So I'm going to place this Ozmi Ozmi Lore. for another expedition here. Um, there is our hoe. We have a lot of shovels. I had to craft a lot to, uh, I don't actually remember what I used all the shovel, uh, all the, um, shovels for. Um, so we're all prepared, except that I think we should get, like, another sword. Here, let's go out. Um, Iron, do we have any? I can make some ingots out of this. Here. Seven ingots there. Um, place the nuggets back in. There. Um, uh, sticks. Okay, that's where I'm keeping some of this other soft tissue. some stuff in there. So, I'm going to quickly look style. Okay, what kind of... Uh, we could actually, um, probably get some aloe flora. 
Yeah, we have some of this. Uh, so I'm gonna go back into the lab, which is overrun by goats. And there's there's the chick right there. All right. Um. Yeah. So I'll uh, put this on the storage disk. Okay. Wait, maybe it's coral and it doesn't work the same way. But like, here, wait. What about the extractor? Well, I have some stuff right there. I don't know how to get the soft tissue. There. Oh, yeah, there's already something in that storage disk. That's why. All right, here. Put that in, just like that. Um, or carry a Decrodium Zooberry. Uh, I'll work a little bit on the Decrodium Zooberry. Because I am planning on. Oh, we don't have anything as far as Decrodium Zooberry goes. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so. Uh, Oryxaria. Um. Phoenix Rhodius. Chain Fern. Yeah, we currently can't really work out much on that. So, let's go in here. And, yep, yeah, it's sequencing. You can see the little sample of tissue right there inside the machine. It's, like, floating. It's still kind of weird to me that it's, like, floating in there. But, you know, it's fine. I'm just going to speed this up. So that DNA we got for the Alleuplora is well over enough. 90 plus 20 will definitely get us what we need. So there, that's processing. Good. Good. Now, to make us some swords, we're going to need to go get some wood. Well, there. These trees will soon be gone anyway because I have an endless need for wood and I'm kind of low on it. Yeah. Sticks. And then I can put those in and make a sword or two. Or th well, three swords I can make. I can't make a fourth. Alright, so in here, let's put this there. Three swords, that should be enough. I'm gonna store the stick like right there. And with the iron, this is just like my random drawer right here. We have a failure. <coughs> no, okay. Um. So let's, let's put some of this in there. Um, and why don't we get going? Gold's very valuable, so gold storage discs. Let's bring torches just in case it's pretty dark. Our chicken, so that we don't have to get hungry. Keep chips, bones, cloth. That stuff's valuable. And let's not die in the nether. We all agree not to die. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna need to. Here, I'm just gonna. Do this the lazy way, cut through the fence. Put this back together. Alright. Very secure this time. So this... Okay, wait. Wait. So guys, uh... 
We're about to go and we're going to get some glowstone for the lab and for our future machine. I know as a fact that one of the machines requires glowstone and some of that nether port. So here we go! Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, what is this place? Somebody's inside there. And... Goats? There are goats in there. I don't want whoever that person is to see me if they live in the nether. Oh my god. It's close to one zero. Of course it's him. He's the only one who could pull off a crazy prank like this. Um, not going to disturb his house, but this might cause a grudge between us. Move down this way. How did Coast get into the nether? Mine this up. There. I can get that once I get this quartz right here. Um, oh, I just broke that open with my sword. Awkward. Just so everybody knows, this is uh, in Minecraft version 1.11.2, and I'm pretty sure like this is where the magma block was first created. Uh, I'll use the wall, even though that's strange. vantage point and I can see like his little house back there. I'm gonna have to yeah, get over. Nether's a harsh and rugged place and you always need to stay on your grind even if you don't see any monsters. Yeah. That's my tip about the nether. Oh also my other tip is don't die. There we go. We made it up. There's Coast 110. I hope he hasn't spotted me yet. He's probably using that portal to get to my overworld. And if so, I don't want him to do any more pranks. Oh, uh, here's the portal. Alright, come on, let's go inside. We're coming out of this wretched place. Here we are. Um, okay, so we're back here in this world. Um. Here. All right, so um, wait just a moment. All right, so I'm back, guys, and we don't have everything we need. Let's take. Oh yeah, I have all the stuff in here that we're gonna need. I can't tell. I'll I'll take the basic circuit because that might be what we need. Then we need a pane of glass. 
um, do I have a pane of glass? No, no I don't want to place a torch down. Okay, we don't have a pane of glass. All right. And we're just going to dig up like six pieces. We're going to go and dig up like six pieces of sand right from the beach. Yeah, it's it's dangerous night time. I know. Blah blah blah. Let's go. All right. So, 1 2 3 4 5 6 just like that. No, if we're lucky, the wiki picture is a little bit too small. I can't really tell if it's basic circuit or advanced circuit that it really requires. Here, let's keep moving. All right, back around this way. Um, wow, quite a bit of stone. We can make quite a bit of bricks. Wow. There. Probably should have reinforced all that stone for like future exhibits because we're gonna need to use some reinforced stuff. Uh, we're gonna need iron too. Yeah, that's enough again. So first we have to make a test tube, so uh, more sand, we do need sand for a lot of this. So the test tube is a pretty simple recipe, just two pieces of glass and we can make eight test tubes. Let's just make a ton of test tubes. the iron let's put the sand in here so all we really need is two pieces from that um yeah we do need some extra though uh 
don't remember how to craft glass bottles, but we're going to need those, too. Here we go. Alright, so, like that, and we get eight empty test tubes. Um, still going on that. So, while that's going, why don't we just quickly put our test tubes inside of the synthesizer, like so. Uh, we're going to need to get one of our storage discs. Alright, um, can't really do it with that right now. Uh, where is it? We need Mosaurus. There. 100% Mosaurus DNA. Oh, those are loud roosters. So we put that in. There. And all we need now is the nucleotides. Um, those roosters are terrifying. Here, okay. Uh, like this? Yep, yep, just like that. So with the bottle, here's what we do to get nucleotides. We need to go to nearby up here, though. And then, so we make them water. I just uh, know this. I, I've watched other YouTubers do it. Um, if any of you know who the Chris and the Mike is, I've watched them do it. Um, I don't remember everything. I've seen, like, their series on this once. Um, and I'm also a big fan of, of this mod, so I surf on their wiki way too much. So these are nucleotides. They're required to process the DNA. Right there. Um, let's just stick one more in there. Alright, so, nucleotides. We have everything we need. So, there. Uh, yep, it takes quite a while for that to go. Let's see. Uh, we should also probably... I'm gonna do the inalhelia after this. With nucleotides. Yep, it's still going. So now it'll give us a vial of Mosaurus DNA, and I'm pretty sure that the next machine is the Embryonics machine. Whoa, we have Mosaurus DNA now. Look at that. Really nice. Uh, so you can st stick the disc in and get as many DNA off of this as you want. I'm just going to get two vials, and we can start with two Mosauruses. <coughs> okay. There, it's it's going. So the storage disk can be used to make pretty much an infinite amount of DNA. All you need is the nucleotides and the test tube. So we have a vial of DNA for the first time. Now we just put in the inalhelia. That's good. Um, oh, I already had test tubes, didn't I? Okay, so next up we need the embryonics machine, which requires a piston, so I'm going to need to remember how to make a piston. something I can use these glass panes, so, so petri dish, and DNA, oh that actually goes really quickly, so DNA gets processed, and we should get the embryos, yes, embryos, sweet sweet embryos, there we go, 
And now if I'm lucky for the plant one, we just need to... Okay, so... Alright. Let's go back. So now we have, like, an embryo. Now all we need is a calcification machine. And we can put that into an egg, which I have right here. Um, so... Embryo calcification machine, which requires buttons like that. Basic circuit goes in the corner. Oh, other corner. It's a basic circuit. Never mind, never mind. Basic circuit. Yeah, okay. So now we have absolutely every single machine we're going to need for this. So here is the calcification machine. Really exciting. So embryos are going to go on the top. And um, here's what we're going to need we're going to go to the chicken coop. Eggs, anywhere? Come on, let me fill your things up. Okay, okay, that works, that works. Come on. Come on, chickens, lay me some eggs. First chicken to lay me an egg won't get slaughtered. You there, stop being lazy. Lay the egg. Lay, oh, nope, you still don't lay an egg. Stop yoking with me, you chickens. Lay an egg. Oh, why can't you just give me eggs? Drink that water and lay these eggs. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Chickens, do you know what a drought is? It's my excuse for not giving you water. That's what it is. Ah, oh, you want to lay some eggs since I made you happy? Eggs! I probably shouldn't have hard-boiled every egg I got from the past. You place the egg in, and the syringe places the embryo inside the egg. So it's processing. Yeah, we have an egg for our source. Now, I just want to... Eggs for the chickens. Oh, there's an egg! There's an egg! Okay, quickly. Did we get it? Yeah, we got the egg. We got the egg. Okay. I also have the pressure plate for a hastiness. Okay. Okay. Calcification machine. There we go. Yeah, we have two Mosaurus eggs, guys. We finally have dinosaur eggs. Okay, so we're back in the lab. Let's get that incubator down there. Got it. Um, I feel like a real thief stealing all the incubators, but works. You know. Also, the lab, I've really taken away its former glory, but we're gonna have to take away everything's former glory to get our glory. You know? Hopefully our glory won't become former. Here's the incubator. So, um, we put the peat moss in, and then we put the eggs inside. Let's put one in the middle and one, like, down here. And then, um, uh, let's make a female and a male. And these will just slowly heat up. And you can see the cute little eggs are inside of the incubator as we speak. So there. 
So guys, yeah, this was a long episode, but we got a lot done. We went to the nether, and we got, um, let's see, four new machines. We got a dinosaur way before I expected. I expected to get this on episode five, not episode three. So yeah, there, we have these eggs, and uh, by next episode, they're all be, they'll all be warm and incubated, and we'll have our two mosauruses, um... And I can introduce you to what these dinosaurs are like because these are my favorite dinosaurs in this mod. Uh, they're also this. Uh, they're the second. They're the third, like, smallest animal. You can see they're beginning to go right there. Uh, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos because this stuff is about to get exciting. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, see you next time.